So we've created our patrol state, in which our character will patrol the spline that we have assigned to it. We'll run around to all four corners. where he'll wait for one to two seconds and then move on. So the next step is to, to create a chase state. It's very simple, similar to the patrol state. So let's begin by creating a task. Should be bakery task chase. We can give that task a chase task to the chase state. Similar to last time, we'll also need to give it a move to, so we can add that. And now we will need to find a variable or a target actor for it to move to. So if we go back to our chase state, override the enter, go to custom event, at chase target. And basically, we want to set the target to be the player character. Player character. And we'll promote this to a variable. So, player target. And we'll expose that. We'll also set this as an output. Like we did in the previous tutorial. Back here. So in our chase, we will be setting the player target as a character. And here we will bind it the player target. So now it should chase the target actor once it enters chase state. We'll give it a long bigger rate acceptable radius and track the moving goal. At the end of once it reaches we'll do a similar thing like here. Add another state delay after chase. Maybe two seconds with a random deviation of one, 1 1.2, 1.5 seconds. And when this completes, we will tell it to go back to the chase state. And when this completes, the state completed, we will tell it to delay after reaching its chase target. So the easiest way to trigger when the enemy should chase the player is through the AI controller. I see enemy. What we can do is we can add a perception component. And set up a AI site, dominant sense site. Open this and in the senses one make sure 
all three are ticked, otherwise it won't work. We can give it a, maybe a smaller site radius, 1500. And make this narrower, make it 60 degrees. Now we can add an event. So on target perception updated, we can check to see if the target our enemy has perceived is equal player character. If it is, we can branch. And we can check to see if we break this, whether he is sensed us or lost sight of us. Let's branch on this first. So if it is true, he has perceived us for the first time. And here we can then send a state tree event using our state tree component. And the event will be to start chasing. If he loses sight of us, we can do the same again. But this time send the event to return to now we have to decide when do we want it to make these switches. Let's, let's say that he can perceive us when he is patrolling and when he is pausing in between the two to begin with. So we can add a transition in the patrol. Again, based on an event, the event is if it receives the chase, and if it does, it is to transition to chase. I'll do the same here. Or to begin with, we'll say only while he is moving around, he can see us, but when he stops and pauses, he can't. Secondly, while he is chasing us, if he loses sight of us, another event. So if he receives the patrol instruction, he returns to patrol. And same here. Actually, let's just put this one. So while he is pausing between each patrol point, we can also start chasing. see. He starts trolling. So the chase isn't working. And let's have a look in the chase state. It's not working because we forget to call this. So 
and chase B. And no. So he starts off in patrol. Moving there. Now he sees us and he starts chasing us. Oops. Okay. Now he's lost sight of us, so he returns to his patrol location again. He sees us again, starts chasing us. He's lost us. keeps chasing us until he loses us. And he goes back to patrolling. So now in our state tree, our character can go from idle to patrol to chase and back to patrol states. But when we look at the tree, you can see that this will get quite unwieldy quite quickly. So how do we neaten this up? Well, there is an option where, for instance, if we go to our AI, state trees, let's create another state tree. Again, state tree AI component, state tree, let's call this our combat tree. And if we can move some of those tasks from here, say this and this, see if we can copy and paste them. Through here. And just clean up some of this. So. What we'll need to do though is then transition to chase, that's fine. We'll need to remove these. Delete. Delete. That should compile. If we go back here, what we can do is we can delete this. And here, if we get rid of all of this, we can simply create a linked asset. And that linked asset can now be our new combat tree. What we will have to do though, in order for it to go back to the patrol state, is move where these events occur.
there can be issues with copying and pasting tasks. You can see we seem to be getting some kind of error here. So perhaps what we should do is just recreate all this. Clear that. And let's clear this. Go back here and add the task. This will be the chase task first, which will set the player target. Then we will add the move to task. And we will bind the player target. And then when it completes, I'm say completed, but we'll say to go to delay after chase. Delay after chase. We will add a delay task. And tell it to delay for 1.5 seconds plus minus one. And when that completes, the return to chase. This, we need to make sure it, okay, then this is a problem. We need to make sure these are children of the root. So it goes into the root and that was probably more likely the cause. But nevertheless, that's done. I've also added a now I will add, add a debug task here as well. So we know if it's entering the chase state, I'll call that chase. Give it a red color on scale three so we can see it. And we'll attach it to the actor. Now, <clears throat> in the new tree, it's using generic actor and generic AI controller as opposed to the two ones that we set here. We can just leave it at that for the time being. Check to see whether this works. And on the chase state, we've added an event troll to return back to the patrol state. So let's see. So again, from idle, let's do patrol. Still patrolling. Does he see us? No, he chases us. Finds us. And he loses us and he goes back to patrolling. And if he finds us again, she's us again, and starts chasing us. He loses us, goes back to patrol state. Excellent. So this makes it much cleaner. We could also put all of these into their own separate non-combat tree, idle patrol and delay. And that makes the main tree a lot cleaner and easier to manage. And plus we can put the event here on the main tree, which will apply to all of the states in the sub the linked asset tree.